What's going on guys? It's been a while and today we're going to be taking a look at a product that on surface value might not seem useful to a lot of you, but actually can be if you work with multiple computers or possibly use a multi-computer streaming setup or just multiple computers for say work or different projects you're working on. And the product we're going to be taking a look at today is the T-Smart 4 triple monitor KVM. And the main thing we're going to be focusing on today is the KVM aspect, mainly because my desktop computer is dead. <laughs> that makes it kind of hard to film a review on this product. But I can say before it died, I was able to use this for quite a while. And I'm very impressed with the quality of this and the feature set it offers. So we're going to kind of cover that. And then I'm also going to cover why a KVM might be very important to you. So let's go ahead and get started first with just very basic information. What is a KVM? And a KVM is basically a device that allows you to plug into multiple computers and output the signal. So for instance, let's just say this didn't do three monitors, this just did one. You can take however many computers it supports, say two or three or four, and you can plug all of their video outputs into the KVM and plug your keyboard and mouse into the KVM as well. And what this is going to allow is it's going to allow you to use one keyboard and mouse and one monitor for three, four, however many computers. And all you gotta do is switch it back and forth. One of the benefits of this KVM is it actually has a few extra features. One, you can actually support up to three monitors, up to four computers, and you can actually change individually what's on those monitors and computers. So that's pretty neat. We also have a dedicated mouse, or not mouse, remote for that, which is really convenient. And if you want to rack mount it, which a lot of you might be interested in if you are using this for say like a server environment or something, you can go ahead and mount with these rack mounts. So just add those to the side and you're good to go. Comes with a power adapter, which is handy. You need power. And then one of my favorite features is if you wanted to keep this rack mounted, but say you don't have really access to the IR um, light on the front of this, you, it actually comes with an IR extender. So that uses a three and a half millimeter plug, plug it into the back, trace this wherever you want it to go, and then use the sticky tape on the backside to put it wherever you want. A really neat feature about this, and this is something I actually didn't notice whenever T-Smart decided to send this out, but I'm a huge fan of, is you actually don't have to run an Ethernet cable to every single one of your computers. It is going to be limited to 100 meg, I believe. I could be wrong. It could be a gig, but I believe it's 100 meg. And essentially what you can do is you plug an HDMI cable into your computer, and then you can plug a USB into your computer as well. It's going to send a Ethernet signal as well as being able to allow you to control the keyboard and mouse. And this HDMI cable right here is going to send the video signal. So it supports up to three monitors per computer and up to four computers. And then we have those respective outputs right here for those three outputs. We have a keyboard and mouse dedicated input and an ethernet input. So this actually kind of works like a hundred meg ethernet switch. So you don't have to plug ethernet into all your different computers. It'll actually send that uh, internet signal, ethernet network signal over your USB type B. Also, another thing it, I've almost completely neglected to mention, it does have a display here so you can figure out which monitors and stuff you're switching to, as well as these USB ports. What I really like about these is if you wanted to, you could plug a hard drive in here and you could file transfer simply by dragging it onto the hard drive and then placing it on the other computer by swapping the computer inputs, as well as the USB inputs. You can actually switch which computer you're connected to there as well. We have a, a headset jack, so it will support microphone and headphones and you can plug into there and that'll pass through to each system as well, which is really convenient. There's some other features I want to talk about in a second. And this is what I think makes it really good for people who want to live stream um, and use it for that application as well. And that is because this supports 4K up to 60 Hertz. And what's even better about that is if you're not doing 4K, it can actually do higher refresh rates. For instance, I was able to run it on my ultra wide here at 1440p and whatever the ultra wide variant of 1440p is at 75 hertz and it ran great so you've got a bunch of different refresh rates that you can work with there and it works pretty well so with that being said how is this useful for you well if you do stream on two computers 
you can actually utilize both of your monitors if you have two. Or if you have three, you can utilize all three and swap out however that looks whenever you're streaming. If you want your stream on the first two computer monitors and then your other one to be your streaming machine itself that's doing your live stream encoding, you could have your you know game on one, chat on the other, and then have OBS up on the other one. It really comes down to however you want to use it. But for my use case, until my computer decided to die, I was actually running into um, this with also another older computer, not a computer that's good enough to video edit, but I was using it to run like things like Home Assistant and some other localized um, software, as well as a NAS plugged into it, and I could actually see that visual interface. And what's really cool about that is, once again, I can hit one button on the front of this and switch all the monitors to all of it, or I can specify exactly how I want to use that. So it's a really neat way to keep from having to have two keyboards, two mice on your desk, or if you multiply that by up to four, um, yeah, four keyboards, four mice, or having to unplug them and plug them back in, or let alone, how are you going to have that many monitors? That's going to be rough. Trying to get power for all those, um, managing those cables, and yeah, just keeping up with all of it. That sounds chaotic. This takes the chaos out of it. Uh, one last thing I do want to say is that they did send this for me to review. And I also want to say, though, I am super, super happy with the quality of these things. These cables are top-notch quality cables from what I can tell without, you know, doing some independent testing. I don't have HDMI testers and stuff like that. But from what I can tell, these are really good, really well-built cables. And the fact that the USB, and I actually didn't really show this, and the HDMI are kind of like tied together essentially i believe you can probably pull them yeah and split them apart a little bit more if you need to for that reach but they stay together so you know exactly what computer they go with so all right guys it's going to be all for this video you know what to do like subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this and i will see you guys next time peace